Your Holiness, Your Grace, the Bishops, Reverend Fathers, members of the St. Athanasius College Council and Academic Board, SAC faculty and staff, special guests, alumni, students and friends, welcome to this very historic gathering for St. Athanasius College community. This is the second time a patriarch of the See of St. Mark has visited our theological college. The first visit was in 2002 by His Holiness Pope Shenouda III of Blessed Memory, who opened our Domvale campus, and today and over the last few days by His Holiness Pope Tawadros II, who opened our second campus here in Eporo Tower on Sunday. Tonight, His Holiness will address the SAC community and will give special recognition to our graduates towards the end of the evening. From the time of His Holiness's enthronement, His Holiness has taken the role and place of theological education very seriously. Less than a year after being enthroned, His Holiness convened the Theological and Ecclesiastical Institute seminar in June of 2013 to explore the spiritual formation of theological students. This seminar featured talks by eminent Coptic bishops, clergy and scholars, as well as international guests, such as the very Reverend Dr. John Baer. In 2015, His Holiness chaired the first Lands of Immigration Conference that was held at St. Paul's Monastery Retreat House at the Red Sea in which theological education was an important agenda item. These are just two of many examples of His Holiness's efforts in the field of theological education. His Holiness's work has also been recognized across the world. In 2015, His Holiness was a recipient of the Order of St. Ignatius by the St. Ignatius Foundation in Sweden for renewing the interest within the Coptic Orthodox Church for theological education and theological dialogue. His Holiness also received an honorary doctorate from Beni Suef University in Egypt in 2015 for His Holiness's positive role in consolidating social peace. Recently, in May of this year, His Holiness's efforts in Christian unity were recognized by His Holiness Patriarch Kirill of Moscow and all Russia, who awarded His Holiness the 2017 Patriarch Alexei II Prize of the Unity of the International Public Foundation for the Orthodox Nations, for His Holiness's outstanding activities in strengthening the unity of the Orthodox Christian nations and for upholding and promoting Christian values in the life of society. These papal visits are not only a great blessing to the whole community of St. Athanasius College, they also affirm an important focus of our mission. St. Athanasius College exists from the church, in the church, for the church. Since the establishment of our college in 2000, our mission has been to endow our students with a deep appreciation and understanding of Orthodox Christianity and Coptic heritage through scholarship, research, and the pursuit of academic excellence following the tradition of the Catechetical School of Alexandria. This mission is grounded in all aspects of ecclesial life, namely kononia, didache, diakonia, liturgia, and kerygma. And hence, the college is an integral part of the church, existing for the service of the church. The church has a responsibility to train and educate its clergy, 
lay leaders, and faithful believers in the faith. And at St. Athanasius College, we take this responsibility and calling very seriously. By the grace of God and through the prayers and unwavering support of the whole community, St. Athanasius College has grown to be a fully accredited college of the University of Divinity, spanning two campuses, offering residential full-time study, holding four academic symposia, with the fifth being held in 2018, collaborating with local and international theological institutions, inaugurating a press, and offering a range of undergraduate and postgraduate awards. Such growth, however, is lifeless without the energy, passion, and enthusiasm that exists in the St. Athanasius College community. From the faculty and staff who work tirelessly in the college, the Reverend Fathers who both encourage and sponsor their parishioners to study, and the central part of our college, our students. Our students not only bring enthusiasm and passion to St. Athanasius College, they also take what they have learned and apply it to their ministry and their personal life. It is always uplifting to hear our students reflect on both their personal and ministerial growth during their studies at St. Athanasius College. It is no secret that our work at St. Athanasius College is inspired by the life and work of St. Habib Gerges. I want to share with you a small quote which shows St. Habib Gerges' passion for theological education, and this is what he says. I felt a voice calling me from the depth of my heart. My soul is ignited moving to rise up to the duty toward the seminary for which God created me, for I was created for its sake. Hence, I did not rest for one instant, nor did I become tepid for one second, nor did I slacken from working for its progress. This was an inner voice and call, a desired hope, a deep love, and a definite desire, he says. Saint Habib Gerge strongly believed that every ordained priest must have a suitable theological education, and he repeatedly said that the first need for the community after bread is education. For this reason, he dedicated his whole life to striving to improve the state of education in the church through his leadership of the Coptic Theological College in Cairo, at which he was dean for 33 years. Alongside his tireless efforts in establishing the Sunday School Movement in the church, his authoring of many books, curricula and journals, and structured plans for village ministry. At St. Athanasius College, we are inspired by the diligent efforts of St. Habib Gerges in preparing clergy, lay ministers, servants, as well as the faithful in knowing, living, and growing in their faith. <coughs> we do not view theological education as a purely academic endeavor. Such an association is not faithful to our orthodox conviction on the importance of theological education. Academic study is only one aspect of theological education. The Alexandrian tradition has always held that theology operates beyond intellectual reasoning and is primarily an encounter between God and the one who it attempts to theologize. It is God through revelation who initiates this encounter and allows one to attempt to describe and speak of God adequately according to the limitations of human nature. And this view of theology is integral to the mission and vision of St. Athanasius College. Once again, I welcome and thank His Holiness 
Pope Tawadros II for this blessed visit and for meeting with our students. I also welcome once again the Grace, the bishops, and the whole papal delegation, and I pray that this be the first of many fruitful visits. It is my deepest honor to now welcome His Holiness to address us this evening. Welcome, Your Holiness. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Your graces, your reverend fathers, sisters, brothers, and sons and daughters, in this evening, we are meeting with the St. Athanasius College here in Melbourne, in the Diocese of Melbourne. It is an honor to be in this college of St. Athanasius and to be filled with the inspiration of the School of Alexandria. That represents the roots of all Coptic seminaries, both in Egypt and in the whole world. It feels great to be able to receive theological education in a Coptic Orthodox institution as a seminary, as this college. There are distinguished qualities featuring the education of the college and connecting the present time to the past, when our church had the School of Alexandria. Let me put those qualities in brief before your hearts and understanding so that they would always be clear to everyone involved in the college, teachers, students, and even the administrative staff. The college is part of the church and it represents the church life in all manifestations as its instator the school of alexandria the seminary depend on bius teachers who give a good christian example they care about prayers and hymns as much as they care about teaching theology and they are humble and beat so as they are scholars. Another features, feature concerning the college is that it aims at enlighten, enlighten, enlightening the scholar about Orthodox theology to gain more souls to Jesus Christ. It does never aim at the winning theological disputes, and so was the school of Alexandria. Its fathers were fisher of men who aimed at gaining souls. That is why their writings were accepted all over the Christian world and were translated not only to the old language, such as Latin and Syrian, Syriac, but also to modern language such as English, French, German, and many others. The School of Alexandria was built upon personal relationship between teachers and the students. It was a healthy atmosphere for a real Christian discipleship 
in one of its greatest images. Both students and teachers prayed and worshipped together. Teachers provide both theology as a science and the spiritual guidance so that the Christian faith became, becomes both rationality understood and inwardly lived. An important quality that we must struggle to keep in the modern world is the submission of the theological knowledge to the Holy Spirit. It should always be considered that in the college reason cannot take a step preceding faith. Let me quote a professor of theology to explain this point. Saint Augustine says, faith is to be believed, is to believe what you do not see. The reward of this faith is to see what you believe. I repeat, faith is to believe what you do not see. The reward of this faith is to see what you believe. To test the value of the seminary education, we finally look at the fruits. There are the fruits of theological research which appear in the quality and the quantity of academic research production. And there are the fruits that are embodied in the sense universal teachers and patriarchs who graduated from the school of Alexandria, such as Saint Clement, Saint Athanasius the Apostolic, Bob number 20, Saint Kirill the Great, Bob number 24, and Saint Dioscorus, Bob number 25. The seminary is still the institute for which popes, bishops, priests, monks, and nuns, and the church servants graduate and teach in all sectors of the church. To conduct, to conclude, let us look closer on the words of St. James the Apostolic. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, and be stable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and the good fruits without partially and without hypocrisy. I am so happy to attend this night the graduation from the College of St. Athanasius. I would like from my heart to thank His Grace Bishop Soriel for his efforts for this academic work, for this theological work which we need. One of my dreams uh, is to improve the theological studies, theological institutes, either in Egypt or outside Egypt. Also, I would like to thank the choir of St. Athanasius and all the teacher, academic staff, and the students. Uh, this is give us many uh, joy and many rejoice in our hearts to see that fruits in this uh, country here, after the first church was here in Australia from about 50 years. This is very sweet fruit from the serving, from the ministry of the church here in Australia. أنا سعيد للغاية أن أكون في هذه الليلة وفي ختام زيارتنا لأستراليا أنا مش عارف الزيارة دي ابتدت إمتى هي في حساب الزمن 
في حساب الزمن اسبوعين لكن هي مش كده يبدو ان اليوم هنا مش 24 ساعة هو حاجة غير كده لكن النهاردة الصبح كان لنا لقاء طيب مع الاباء الكهنة في سيدني وفي ملبورن وفي المساء النهاردة هذا اللقاء مع الدارسين والطلبة والاساتذة وللصف بصفة عامة مع وجود الاباء الكهنة وجود الاباء الاسافة الاحباء التعليم يا إخوتي في كنيستنا هو أحد قدمي حركة الكنيسة بمعنى أن الكنيسة تتحرك على قدمين التعليم والتكريس التعليم والتكريس طالما في التعليم اللاهوتي بكل مستوياته زي ما هذكر بعض نقاط صغيرة وأيضا التكريس تكريس النفوس إذا اتوجدت العلامتين دول تبقى كنيسة ماشية صح في كل زمن ولا يمكن فصل التعليم عن التكريس ولا التكريس عن التعليم والاثنين ريليتد لبعض مرتبطين ببعض كده للسبب ده أحب أنك تعرف أن الله عندما خلق الإنسان خلقه أولا عاقلا له عقل يفكر والعقل ده اللي بيقرأ وبيدرس وفي الحياة الرهبانية اليوم الرهباني يتكون من ساعة صلاة وساعة قراءة وساعة عمل وكلمة ساعة المقصود بيها فترة الأجبية اللي هي ساعة الأجبية اللي هي كل ثلاث ساعات يعني فالقراءة أحد القراءة تعني الدراسة تعني البحث أحد أركان الحياة الرهبانية اللي هي حياة التكريس الله خلق الإنسان الله خلق الإنسان عاقلا له عقل يفكر ويحترم ثم خلق الإنسان أيضا عاملا بيشتغل يبدع يصنع هذه الحضارة ثم أكمل هذه المنظومة فخلقه عابدا له قلب يتقابل فيه ويا الله ولذلك نقول على الإنسان أنه ثلاثة إتش هد هند هارت الثلاثة دول بيشتغل ويا بعض في التعليم في التكريس في الخدمة ولازم يكونوا موجودين وما ينفعش يتوجد كلية يعلم فيها لكن ما فيش تكريس وما فيش خدمة مش ممكن الثلاثة بيشكلوا منظومة واحدة علشان كده هذه كلية وتم الاعتراف بها رسميا وصارت تستطيع أن تمنح شهادات الماستر والبي اتش دي وده فخر وعمل مضني من نيافه انبا سوريال مع الصف اللي وياه امبارح عملوا لي برزنتيشن جميل جدا يبين تعب وتاريخ جيد وثمره حلوه لكن كمان احنا على مستوى الخدمه عندنا عده مدارس اخرى ينبغي ان تدخل في اهتمامنا أول مدرسة مدرسة البيت الأسرة لازم نفكر ولازم في دراستكم تفكر إن إزاي مدرسة البيت تكون مور إفكتف إزاي تكون فعالة ما هي الأسرة دي الفاميلي هي اللي بتطلع كل واحد فينا شيء مهم جدا إن مدرسة البيت يكون لها هذا الاهتمام لازم نشجع عليه بالذات في بلاد مهجر زي هنا في استراليا مدرسه ثانيه مدرسه الكنيسه واقصد بمدرسه الكنيسه الاجتماعات التعليميه اللي في الكنيسه غالبا بتبقى اجتماعات اسبوعيه زي اجتماعات الخدام زي اجتماعات الاباء زي اجتماعات مثلا بنعملها للشباب دي مدرسه تحتاج مناهج وتحتاج اهتمام 
ولازم يكون فيها نوع من التأصيل العلمي يعني مش بنخدمه بس لازم المدرسة دهيات يكون لها تواجد ولها تقدير نوع ثالث من المدرسة مدرسة الكتاب الكتاب المقدس ده مدرسة لوحده إن كان في اجتماعات بتشرحه طبعا هو عمادة دراسة في الكلية الكتاب المقدس قبل أن نصل إلى الأباء نصل إلى الآيات إلى محور الكتاب نفسه وده شيء مهم أن الكتاب المقدس هو المرجع الأول لأي دراسة بتعملها مش الحكاية أن أنا أعتمد على أقوال أباء بس لا إزاي يكون الكتاب هو المرجع وهو الأساس وأرجوكم تاخدوا بالكم من شيء ربما بيحصل في بعض الأماكن أن صار الاهتمام بالدراسات الأبائية والأباء والأقوال وابتعدوا قليلا عن الدخول في عمق الكتاب خالص فشيء مهم جدا أن الكتاب المقدس يجد مكانته الأولى الأولى ثم دراسات الأباء وأقوال الأباء أو سيرهم أو حياتهم مدرسة الكتاب المقدس تحتاج منهجية وتحتاج شرح مهمة جدا برح لما كنا بنزور المدرسة الأبطية اللي موجودة هنا فكانوا بياخدوا درس تاريخ فبقول لهم ان التاريخ لازم نعرف خمس انواع من التاريخ لازم اعرف تاريخ المسيحية بصفة عامة ولازم اعرف تاريخ الكتاب المقدس تاريخ الستوري قصة الكتاب كلها وطبعا اعرف تاريخ كنيستي الارثوذكسيه في مصر باعتبارها الكنيسة الام وبعدين بعرف نشأة الكنيسة هنا تاريخها في استراليا وبعدين أعرف تاريخ الكنيسة المحلية اللوكال تشيرش بتاعتي اللي أنا بحضر فيها صلواتي اللي فيها أب اعترافي إلى آخر أنا قلت مدرسة الأسرة ومدرسة البيت الكنيسة ومدرسة الكتاب نمر أربعة مدرسة التاريخ التاريخ هو الحياة history is life طبعا حضراتكم تعرفوا ان كلمة history جاية من his story مش كده عشان كده ان الايام دي في تقليعة في العالم يقول لك هير story بعد ما كتب الانسان او يعني بمنظور ذكوري نشوف التاريخ بمنظور انثوي في في العالم كده في دراسات في الناحية دي وعندنا في مصر في كذا استاذة متخصصة في الموضوع ده وفي النواحي المسيحية لكن التاريخ أهم كتاب فيه إحنا بنستخدمه هو كتاب السنكسار والسنكسار ده كتاب تاريخ اليوم وبيعمل لنا نوع من الريليشن بيننا وبين الأجيال السابقة فتصور أنا النهاردة في القرن الواحد وعشرين ولي علاقة باللي حصل في القرن الأول والثاني والرابع والخعاشر والخمستاشر والعشرين عشان كده كتاب السنكسار يحتاج مننا نعمل عليه فوكس كتير وندخل في أعماق وطبعا في أنواع كتيرة من كتب السنكسار والكنايسنا الأرزوكسية فيها أكتر من سنكسار بيخص كل كنيسة مدرسة الأسرة مدرسة الكنيسة مدرسة الكتاب مدرسة التاريخ ثم أخيرا مدرسة الحياة مدرسة الحياة وهي ما يسمى في التعليم الكنسي التلمزة عشان كده احنا في الكليات اللاهوتية مش بنعلم علم بس احنا بنمتص بنمتص العلم ده من الأسد من الأسد بتوعنا وامتصاص الحياة الروحية أو التلمزة أو الحياة بصفة عامة من المعلمين اللي بيعلمونا وزي ما ذكرت 
في الكلمة الأولى أن نقاوة الحياة بتاعة المدرس شيء أساسي جدا في التعليم اللي بيقدمه مش معقول أنا أقدم, أقدم تعليم ومش بعيشه مش فهمه فمدرسة الحياة هي التعلم من الآخرين التعلم من الملاحظات اللي بنشوفها في حاجات كتيرة مش موجودة في الكتب حاجات كتيرة خالص الكتاب المقدس نفسه ليس فيه طريقة رشم الصليب مش كده برضه يعني ما فيش كده آيات في الإنجيل بتقول عندما تدخل إلى الكنيسة ارفع إيدك فوق ثم نزل إيدك تحت فيش حاجة بالشكل ده لكن في الحياة الروحية في تسليم في تسليم بنعيشه بنتعلمه وإحنا في الأديورة بهمنا كمان وجود الشيوخ نتعلم منهم نمتص هذه الحياة نتعلم من الآخرين نتعلم من الأباء الأباء المعاصرين يعني نتعلم بالملاحظة أحيانا نتعلم من السفر التبادل اكستشينج بين كلية وكلية بين مصر وبين أستراليا وبين أمريكا كل ده ممكن يعلمنا تعليم كثيرة جدا أنا أشعر بفرحة وبقيمة وجود هذه الكلية هنا في استراليا ومع وجود النفوس التي تتكرس فده يعني أن الكنيسة لها ثمار وأختم بما قاله المزمور الأول تكون كالشجرة المغروسة على مجاري المياه الشجرة كائن حي بس مغروسة لها دبس في الأرض ومغروسة على مجاري المياه مجاري المياه وصائت النعمة تعطي ثمرها في حينه أهي أدينا شايفين أستراليا عمالة تدينا ثمره في حينه مرة مدرسة ومرة كلية ومرة دير ومرة كنيسة ومرة نفس تتكرس ومرة شاب يتكرس ومرة شابة كل دي ثمار تعطي ثمرها في حينه ورقها لا ينتسر دائمة الخضرة وهنا تعبير عن النعمة دائما مكسوة بالنعمة وكل ما يصنعه ينجح فيه أشكركم كثيرا وأشكر نيافة أنبا سوريال على محبته وكل الأحباء الذين يتعبون في هذه الكلية ومن نجاح إلى نجاح سانكيو Thank you, Your Holiness, for that insightful, informative lecture. It's always great to hear from His Holiness, Pope Tawadros II. His words are always full of wisdom. And on Thursday, some of us were at the University of Divinity reception for His Holiness, where amongst other things, His Holiness spoke to us about the importance of saying, Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy, with Amin, faithfully. And one of the deans of one of the colleges who was standing next to me said, that that was a very important and needed address for the theological community and that His Holiness beautifully summed up theology, that, one person need, that a person needs to say, Lord have mercy with Amin, with faithfulness. Thank you, Your Holiness, once again for your words of wisdom. <laughs> On behalf of the whole St. Athanasius College community, His Grace Bishop Suriel, will now present Your Holiness with this commemora commemorative plaque in acknowledgement of this blessed visit to St. Athanasius College and in appreciation for taking the time to meet with our students. Thank you, Your Holiness. We would also like to present their graces, our beloved bishops in attendance with us, as well as the members of the papal delegation with a copy 
of the second book in the Coptic study series, which is published by both St. Vladimir's Seminary Press and St. Athanasius College Press. With this book, Habib Gerges, Coptic Orthodox Educator and a Light in the Darkness, which was authored by His Grace Bishop Suriel. <laughs> His Holiness will present the books on behalf of the St. Athanasius College community. To His Grace Bishop Daniel, Bishop of Maadi. His Grace Bishop Daniel, Bishop of Sydney and affiliated regions. His Grace Bishop Daniel, Bishop and Abbot of St. Shunoda Monastery in Pati. His Grace Bishop Hermina, General Bishop of Ain Shams. <laughs> Father Ammonios Ishat, Papal Secretary. <laughs> I'm sorry, Father Ammonios Aydel and Father Angelos Ishat, Papal Secretary. <laughs> Deacon Wagih Sobhi, Papal Deacon. And Miss Irene Wagdi, the Papal Media Officer. I would now like to invite His Grace Bishop Suriel to introduce the SAC graduates to His Holiness. Since St. Athanasius College has become a fully accredited member of the University of Divinity in December 2011, 35 students have graduated from St. Athanasius College. Father Elijah Fanous. Father Dan Daniel Gabriel. <laughs> Father Abanu Batalla. <laughs> Amal El Minchawi. <laughs> Chris Ghali. <laughs> Mark Ghali. Amira Ghali, <laughs> Stephen Iskander, <laughs> Abraham Mikhail, <laughs> Shadi Nassim, <laughs> Dina Rafael. Ahmed Aboud, <laughs> Christina Barsoum, <laughs> Natalie Bishara, <laughs> Chris Michael, <laughs> Abanub Mikhail. Nabil Youssef, <laughs> Hana Youssef, <laughs> Peter Hanna, <laughs> Marco Atea, <laughs> Rebecca Saad. Joseph Rafael, <laughs> Peter Ferris, <laughs> Corollos Feltaos, <laughs> Anthony Gabriel, <laughs> Fabio Gerges. 
and Marina Habashi. Now they will take a photo with your holiness. Congratulations once again. Congratulations once again to all of our graduates, and we look forward to congratulating the 2017 graduates very soon and the rest of our students in the very near future. His Honours will now award the highest achieving student of each graduating year with the St. Habib Gerges Medal for Academic Excellence. Mark Ghali for 2013. <laughs> Dina Rafael for 2014. Ahmed Aboud for 2015. <laughs> and Peter Hanna for 2016.
Before we conclude, we'll just acknowledge some of our Reverend Fathers who have recently completed their Masters in other colleges of the University of Divinity or will soon complete their Masters. Father Shunuda Botros completed his Masters in CTC earlier this year. Father Luke um, uh, Sorsok, Father David Kamel, Father um, Athanasius Atia, Father Elijah Funuz, Father um, Abunob Atalla, and Father Daniel Gabriel are in the process of completing their master's and higher level degrees. Um, very soon, I hope I haven't left out anyone, um, very soon in other colleges of the University of Divinity. So we'll just congratulate them in advance and congratulate Father Shinuri, who has already finished this year. Okay. This brings us to the conclusion of the evening. Thank you once again, Your Holiness, for blessing our college with your presence. We also wish to thank the graces, our fathers, the bishops, reverend fathers, all members of the papal delegation attending with us this evening. His Holiness will now pray the final benediction, after which you are all welcome to come and receive His Holiness's blessing. If um, everyone in this section here so the, the graduates, SAC faculty and staff, academic board, past and present members and council members could please stay seated while everyone else is ushered to His Holiness um, to receive a blessing. That would be great. Our ushers will help guide everyone who will come from the sides to His Holiness and leave um, through there. Thank you. Sion <laughs> Amin Bechrisus Benuti Amin Ayuha Messiah, Ilahuna, Emelik Salam, Atina Salam, Akar Lana Salamak, Wakfil Lana Khatayana, Ghana Mustahakin, and Nakula Shukriya, Abana Lazif Samoa. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For Jesus Christ our Lord, the Lord is the kingdom, power, and the glory for a Amen. محبة الله الآب ونعمة الابن وحيد شركة وهبة وعطية الروح القدس تكون مع جماعكم أمضوا بسلام سلام الرب يكون مع جماعكم If we could all please sit down and the ushers will help us um, to greet His Holiness in an orderly fashion <تصفيق>